Hello there, Drupal developers, and today we have another episode of the Daily Dose of Drupal brought to you by CodeKarate.com. Today we are on episode number five. Today we're going to be covering advertisements using the Simple Ads module, and we're going to be uh, it's available at project slash simple ads on drupal.org and we're going to be using the 1.8 version so we're going to go ahead and jump over to our test Drupal 7 site and the first thing we're going to do is download the simple ads module so I'm going to hop into my command line and using drush I'm going to download simple ads can see it says it contains two modules simple ads campaigns and simple ads we're gonna hop back over to our site and go into the modules page scroll down and find simple ads you can see it has campaigns and simple ads we're gonna go ahead and use campaigns so we can show what that looks like and how that works so I turn both those on and now we hit the save configuration button and it is now saved. If we scroll back down you'll see that there are some permissions here. So if I go to the permissions page you can see there's a permissions for access advertisement campaigns that would be for anyone needing to manage the campaign and there are there's also some simple ads permissions count ad impressions and count ad clicks are important so if you wanted your authenticated users to also be counted in the advertisements you could check those hit save so the next step is going to be actually creating a campaign and a campaign is just a grouping of advertisements so in this case we're going to create a campaign for code karate and this is going to contain a couple different advertisements and you can select what you want to track. I'm just going to track clicks and I'm going to say one click is all I want this campaign to have so we can show what's going to happen. We're going to start now. And there's a couple different things you can do to select what type of date, whether you want to start tomorrow or a week from now or a specific set date. One important thing you're going to need to look at is the publishing options and actually make sure you publish this otherwise it's not going to show up so let's go ahead and hit save after we check that publish button now we have our code karate campaign the next step is going to be adding a few different advertisements I'm going to add the first one as a text advertisement we'll call this code karate add one and we're gonna say it's in the sidebar ads for a text advertisement if you want it to track clicks you need to use plain text and I'm just going to say check out Code Karate and you put in the URL we'll go ahead and we'll leave the active dates and everything at its default and now we'll select the campaign, uh, the campaign we want that to show up under so we can select Code Karate again here you have to make sure it's published or it will not show up so we save that we're also going to add a quick image advertisement and I'm not exactly sure how this is going to look. I haven't really changed the image dimensions at all. We'll call this Code Karate Add 2. We'll put this in the sidebar ads as the ad group. It's an image ad. We'll select the Code Karate basic logo there. Enter the URL, select the campaign. The advertisement is active and again we'll hit published now we have one campaign with two advertisements in it let's go ahead and take a look if you go to content you'll have two new options up here one for ads list one for ad campaigns the ads list lists all the can or the ads that you have available and it shows that it's in the code karate campaign you can view statistics for each advertisement it tells you the clicks and unique clicks as well as impressions and unique impressions can also edit and delete from that ads list. The ad campaigns shows you all the campaigns you have, how many advertisements are in that campaign, what the limits that you've set are. You can then you know, view that, edit it, or delete it from there. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and sh add this block. There are a couple blocks here that you can use. There's an advertisement block for content ads and an advertisement block for sidebar ads. We're going to add this to the first sidebar since we added it to the sidebar ads group and I'm going to throw it up on top of the sidebar. I'm going to hit save. Now I'm going to hop over to another browser where you can see I'm on test.codekarate.com. If I refresh, you'll see I now have an image ad that shows up. And if you, when I hover over this, if you look down at the bottom, you'll see that it's actually sending me to a link on my test.codekarate.com site, and it's going to use or the simple ads module is going to then track that click and redirect me to wherever I said I wanted this to go. So if I go ahead and click here, it opens up in a new window, and it, it brings me to the codekarate.com website. So if I refresh again. I now have check out code karate. If I refresh a couple more times, you'll notice that I'm only getting that text advertisement now. The image one is not showing up. So if we hop back over here, we can find out why. I'll go into content, go into the ads list, and you'll see that code karate ad 2, which was that image advertisement, is not published and is now inactive. And this is because we set our campaign limit at one click. After one click, any advertisement in that campaign is going to become disabled. If we hop back over and we click on the text advertisement, opens up the Code Karate website again, and now there are no ads because it was then deactivated. So if we refresh here, you can see that now none of these advertisements are published. We can go ahead and look at the statistics. It shows that there were six add impressions, only one unique impression, and it breaks it down into today, yesterday, and a couple different date ranges, and then we only had one click. And that's all there really is to the simple ads module, at least getting it set up basically. There's also good integration with views, so you can modify the advertisements and what's displayed using the views module. You can also, using the advertisement filter, which I'll show you where that is quickly. Inside uh, the filtered or full HTML, you can add a filter for a simple ads filter, which would allow you to insert advertisements directly into your content. So if you had specific pages that you wanted specific advertisements to display, you could use that filter just by turning that on and adding this little piece of code. There's some a little bit more documentation on that, I believe, on the, the simple ads page. So that's it for this time. If you are interested in learning more, check out the other Daily Dose of Drupal videos, and be sure to follow me on Twitter at smthomas3, and check out my other posts on codekarate.com. Until next time, thanks for watching.